Okay. Today's uh, today discussion is about the workbook. So it's activity 1.1. So the complete the following diagram which shows the basic function of computer. Can you all remember what computer does? So what are the basic things in the computer? Any computer has these things. Any kind of computer system having these three components, even mobile phone, even uh, computer, so like uh, embedded computers, like washing machines, cameras, anything you take having these three features. The first feature let me give and next two feature. So you have to tell me, right? First feature, first feature is input. It has input. So can you tell me the second two features then? The first is input. What are the next two? Yes, Ramin? Output. Yes, you have definitely you have output, but not the second one, right? So output is the last. So what is in the middle? A is input. What is in the middle? How to give output? Yes. Directly you can't output, no? So for an example, okay, think that, uh, okay, I have given you, uh, what is the answer if you take um, right. seven plus five? What is the answer? Seven plus five. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Seven I gave as input. Five I gave, gave as input. Plus I gave as input. Then it did this part and you said twelve is the answer. What is in the middle? Seven plus five is given and what is in the middle, Pute? Processing. Ah, yes, that is called process. So input should be process to get the output. So you have to write input, process and output, and those are the answers. If you have not written down, so don't write in the workbook itself because you have to do this in your school now. So what you can do is you can fill it in your writing book. Just write the heading activity 1.1 in your writing book. Then question number one, A is input, B is process and C is output, write like that. Just write the question, activity number, question number, then A, B, C. Okay. Right, let's go to the second question. Select the correct answer and write the relevant English alphabetical letter in the given space given. What is known as input in a computer? Yes. What is known as input in a computer? Yes. You have to tell me. So out of these three answers, right? What is known as input in a computer? You can see A, B and C. Which is input? Uh, is it a method a. which can be used to store data or method which is used to feed data or method uh, which is used to send data out? What is input? Input can you the method? Yes. Input means C. giving it. Give in to the computer. Yes. Which is the correct answer then? E. D. Yes. Any method which is used to feed data into the system. That is the answer. So answer for this one is B. You have to write the alphabetical letter. Okay, next one. What is known as output in the computer? What is known as output in a computer? Output is taking something out. Any yes, method is, which is any method which is used to send data out. Yes, send out data processed by the computer system. That is A. And what about the third one? What is known as the storage of computer? That is a method which can be used to store data. So C is the answer for this one. It's easy question, right? It's easy question. So B, A, and C. Please write the answers and show. Question number two, for one answer is B, the two answer is A, and for three answer is C.
Yes. Next question. Okay, input. Okay, now well explained. Uh, so better explanation is given than the previous one, right? Okay, so Yanuki, you just joined. So the what we were discussing is about your workbook, right? So please take your workbook and we have already discussed first two questions. And today, now we are going to discuss the third question. So first two questions, you can watch from the video again, right? Since you missed it. Okay, then uh, input process and output is uh, explained here, right? And uh, again, the same thing. Now write three examples for input devices. You know this, we have discussed a lot. Yes. Yeah, okay. Can you tell me three examples for input devices, Pute? Input computers, a computer, they will then how to feed, right? Entering data into the computer or feeding data into the computer. Can you tell me three examples, guys? Keyboard. Keyboard, yes, very good. That is the primary input. Very good. And what, what else? Keyboard, only keyboard. Mouse. Mouse. Yes. And another one. Another one, please. How to give sound to the computer? Microphone. Microphone, yes. Very good. Right. So, you know, so there are many. Camera. Yes, sorry. Web camera. Webcam, yes. There are more, right? Microphone, web camera, and maybe scanner. Those are also important. Keyboard, mouse, joystick is also input. Likewise, there are many input devices. So out of these, you can write any tree. So can you tell me the output devices then? How to take data out? How to take information out from the computer? Yes? Speaker? Yes, sound you can take out from speaker. What is the primary in the number one? Printer. Printer is, is it number one? Number one, any of these device has this component nowadays. So printer monitor? is great. Yes, monitor, screen. Screen or monitor. It is number one. And then, as you said, printer is yes, printer, speaker, printer, speaker. Those are also output devices, speaker, projector. Project uh, plotter, head mounted devices, those are also output devices. Okay. This is how you complete activity 1.2. And you know the examples. So, answers are any tree out of this and any tree out of these are the output devices. Okay. So, please write down in your book, Pute. So if you are using the workbook itself, please do it using pen, pencil. But if you are not using the workbook, what you can do is you can do this in another paper, a separate paper, use separate paper or separate book to do the activities in the workbook. Okay. Right, let's, let's go to the next one. That is asking to identify the devices. Okay, you have to identify these are some storage media. Those are given, the pictures are given. Can you identify the devices? Let's zoom this and see whether you can identify what is A. A is what? What is B? What is C and D, E? Anything? Yes? Yenuki, can you tell me one? Any number? A valima patanga no one one kakya. Anything that you know? You don't know anything? Cannot be. DVD. Which is DVD? So let me zoom this. Let me zoom this a little. Zoom this a little. This is CD, right? It's not DVD. 
Okay, anything that you know? Come on, you don't know anything? What is this? Yes? Provino, what is this? Pen drive. Pen drive, you know that. So that is pen drive. Okay, what is this? This is D is, we know it is CD, compact disc. Why it is CD? You can see here, put a CD R Kilatian on a hill. Right, okay, what is A, Rovino? What is A? What is B? What is A and what is B? What is E? Yes. Tell it quickly. RAM E. E is RAM, random access memory or the main memory. Random. So please write down in your book, right? Random access memory. Mandaliana Oh, this is called main memory. And A is hard disk. And B is external hard disk. Okay, please write down quickly. So this is number three. So please write down the answers. Right, let's go to the next one. Now you have to identify the devices in the computer. Okay, these are basically called, so devices which can be seen from the outside, the peripherals, but you don't know that name but mainly the input devices and output devices you can see. So what is A? What is A? Printer. A is a printer, yes, correct. Printer. What is B? Monitor. 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 Yes, it's a monitor or screen. So what is C? Central processing. Oh, that system. is system unit. Yes, that is not central processing unit. That is quite wrong answer. Why? Because so CPU, we discussed this, right? CPU is inside this. But most of the shops and shop owners, they are telling CPU to this. Even in internet, you can see this as a CPU. You know what CPU kila kiyane atthatam meke atulethiyana processor ekata. This is the CPU. Can you see? Okay, this part is called CPU. You can see the processor that is called CPU. But some shops and all, they are saying this as a CPU, but that is not correct. So this is what CPU is. But you fix this CPU to the motherboard. Well, I mean, motherboard, CPU fix it pass Minna me magi case in a cacatula of the motherboard like a fixed carala, me magi case in a cacatula of the Wahana. It's like your brain. The magi, so if someone see your head, Wago Lua de Kala, Ulu de Habala can then make a molecular kill. They are not telling this is a brain. No, brain is inside that. Brain is inside your head. You know, head is most important component, but brain is inside your head. So similar to that, the CPU is inside the system unit. So the correct name for this is not CPU, it is system unit. So please write down that. CPU is something inside that. Okay, what about D, Pute? Can anyone tell what is D? Microphone. Sorry? Microphone? Yes, it's microphone. It's used to input audio. Microphone. Used to input audio. So it's called microphone. Okay, then. So what is E? What is E? Mouse. It's mouse. Okay, what is F then? Mouse, then F is? Not Yes, very easy. Keyboard. keyboard. Very good. So it's easy question. 
And what is G? G, 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 where's G? Yes, G is, yes? Speaker. Speaker. Now you can write down this in your book, guys, right? Now you can write down this in your speaker. Right, these are the devices. The question number is question number four. Right, the activity number is activity number 1.2. Question number is four. You can write this in your book quickly. Come on, write it quickly. Right, our next topic is question number five. Next question is question number five. Categorize the devices correctly and write in the following drip. So you have some devices given. Then you are asked to categorize these and write the write these devices in correct box. So whatever these devices you can categorize. So can you tell me what are the input devices? Microphone. Yes, microphone. Keyboard, mouse. Yes, microphone. Again, asking the same question, right? Microphone, keyboard, mouse. mouse and scanner camera. web camera okay output devices printer speaker printer. monitor monitor speaker plotter projector projector yes those are output devices and what are the other devices? You can say hard disk. System unit. System unit. <coughs> Pen drive. CD. DVD. Router. So those are some other devices. <coughs> so that is that is very easy question. Prepare the list of devices which can be seen in the computer laboratory in addition to the above devices. Is what you can see in the lab in addition to this? Router. Router, yes, I wrote this here, but let's erase it here from here and add it to the uh, new column. So this one's so router you can see in your computer lab. And you can see network switch. Projector. Projector, yes, we wrote uh, it above, right? We wrote it above, but projector you can modern. see. Modern. Modern can be, yes, modern. Anything else? Printer, yes, we wrote this. What is that? What is again? Headphones, head mounted uh, headphones. Anything else? that you can see in the lab, which is not listed here. Smart board. In new computer labs, you have smart boards. So what about UPS? UPS, have you seen UPS, anyone? UPS, not CPU, yeah? UPS means uninterrupted. Uninterrupted power supply. Have you seen Uninterrupted power supply. Hi. So this is something like this, right? UPS. When current is not there, when power is not there, you are using this kind of device to give the power to the computer. Current beep beep gala sadhi hemen. UPS means uninterrupted. Okay, maybe when you go to the computer lab, next time you can see, maybe in the teacher's machine, you can see the computer in computer lab, you can see this in teacher's machine. This is something like this. You can connect the power to this one and you can take the power out from these slots. This is like a battery. This is like a battery. When power supply is not there or when power is not there, your computer will be will not be turned off 
రైట్ వాళ్ళకి కంప్యూటర్కి టర్న్ ఆఫ్ కర్ అన్నప్పుడు తీయాగా అన్నో టికాక్ వేలా యూజింగ్ దిస్ డివైస్ రైట్ యూజింగ్ దిస్ అన్ ఇంటర్ప్టెడ్ పవర్ సప్లై ఓకే బెటర్ ఇఫ్ యూ రైట్ డౌన్ ఇఫ్ యూ డోంట్ నో వాట్ ఇట్ డస్ రైట్ వాట్ ఇట్ డస్ ఎస్ వెన్ ఎలక్ట్రిసిటీ ఈజ్ నాట్ దే ఇట్ ప్రొవైడ్స్ పవర్ బట్ ఫోర్ for short time right not for a long time it provide power it's like a so you can make your desktop like a laptop desktop ekak laptop ekak wage karanna pula modu laptop ekak weda karanne battery kenne similar to that you can use in use this ups one interrupted power supply that is when the electricity not is not there it provide power for short time so that is ups okay please write down this these two both in your book right categorize in and the extra, extra component list so please write down both in your book quickly and additionally so th from this list headphones will come here and plotter so plotter we have already tried no here this plotter is already we have so it's asking from this additional list right plot we have already placed there right from this so you can say smart board is also working as output device all other devices are fall into other categories router network switch all other things are the uh, ups these are fall into and modem fall into this category additional input devices anything so you can here you can oh, joystick yes joystick if you want you can add joystick here right and add the joystick here light pen yes joystick light pen so when you are adding this you have to add that to this list too right so you have to add this to this list to joystick light pen barcode scanner maybe so we know yes barcode scanner so then you can add those to this list tablet sorry tablet tablet uh, is basically a tablet is a device no so it's it's like it's a separate system tablet is a separate system so it's not just device tablet ek athule tiyena ne memory ekak screen ekak keyboard ekak everything is there ne e hetakota api kiyanne eka wenama system ekak widiyata device ekak widiyata ne then digital camera ekak dehema ne puthe digital camera also it has monitor so it, it has screen it has buttons it has a memory it has a processor so it is a separate system but this joystick light pen those are not having separate uh, inputs outputs different different things so it's just a device but all these other things like digital camera tablet smartphone those are different systems right okay so you can fill the chart uh, so six you have to fill with you can add these three to the number six and then you can place those three in the input devices and mo most of these are the and output devices you can say uh, smartphones and headphone and smart board okay please complete that right so please complete that too right next uh, question they are asking about write five examples for the embedded computers for embedded computer devices 
so which are used in day to day life embedded computers mean small computer systems which are included with other devices so i already said something what is that previously also when you said something i said that is a uh, different system what is that the tablet that you said right so what else embedded computer systems television television yes or smart tv that is more accurate smart tv you can say smart fridge ref refrigerator and you can say smartphone smartphone yes smartphone. smart watch you have many right so washing machines 